superheroes and kids' toys and such as that. If you're not familiar, you haven't heard my testimony, please see the link. Um, below in the description. After finding out that you don't necessarily have to have a, a pictured idol in your mind and bowing down and worshiping it and singing hymns to it or whatever, that's not what the Bible means when it says that you shall not have any um, graven images or any idols before me. Um, and that's Exodus uh, 20 verse 3. It just means to be in awe of it, to have it, to possess it, um, to have it in your home. Uh, he doesn't want you having them at all, right? So after finding that out with the superheroes and the little figurines, and I'm going, oh my God, this is idols. Um, that brought a whole new meaning to the rest of the verse, <laughs> which is um, four through six. And he tells us not to have any graven images of the in the likeness of the heavens or the earth below, not to have any graven images in the likeness of these things. Then he goes on to say, and you shall not bow down and worship them. So these are two different sections, um, not the same. That brought a whole new meaning there. So then I started looking, and I was like, well, you know what? I, I'm, I live on a farm. I've got roosters. I love cows. I have cows everywhere, <laughs> all over, you know, my wall, cute little funny cows. I went to looking into that and um, trying to see if uh, that would apply, like I had no idea. And so then I started finding out that cows were worshiped. My last name's Peacock. So I had peacocks everywhere and naturally I started buying all kind of peacocks and stuff because it represented our last name. And then I find out that peacocks were idols. They were worshiped as gods and so were cows and chickens and horses and pigs. And he said, you know, you're, wor you're worshiping the created and not the creator. All these things that I had images carved in the likeness of the heavens below <laughs> in my home. I felt naturally so um, convicted after I realized the depth of what worship meant in the Bible and not in my, my head or what somebody told me it means or what I assume that it means. It changed everything. Okay, so obviously that word um, worship there uh, was not one in which is bowing down and giving reverence, but again, it means that of ownership and possessing it. So this would be the reason why he said what he did. And after more digging, I found out that literally every single animal that I could find and that I could think of, and then some, had all been worshiped. And these were pagan gods, like in these different cultures, they were gods. Fast forwarding to now, again, the same as with the superheroes. Well, they're in my house, you know, and my youngins play with them and, or I just like collecting them. I like looking at them. Same thing. These are idols in our homes. And he said not to have anything in the likeness of it. That means in the image of, <laughs> whether you like it or not, you know what I mean? Like, this is the word of, of Yahweh, and he said to not have them, so we needed to get them out. I did. I did. I got rid of everything that my youngins did not make and, and paint and, you know, clay figures and stuff like that. I, I kept those, and, and here's the reason why. When I was digging into finding out about these idols and all the things that had been worshipped, all these animals... And this is the reason why he said not to have these images in our home or not to have possession of them because they worshiped him. But um, now they put uh, blessings from their gods over it or either cursings from their God over it, depending on what you're getting. I, and I mean, this is literal, like this is easy to find. You can do your own research. Please do your own research. This and, and, and dream catchers is a huge one. Like, um, yeah, dream catchers is a huge one. They, they pray over it and not in a way that you would want it to. So these things have um, curses attached to them. That's the only way I can put it. And uh, I understand completely why Yahweh said not to have these in your home. With my children's paintings and drawings and, and clay figures and stuff like that, um, I knew where they came from. And there was no question that there had not been any kind of, uh, you know, paganism in, in any kind of thing, <laughs> any kind of form involved in it. Um, 
but I was looking on the back of my peacock stuff and it said made in India. Look up in India and they're worshipped. Uh, some made in China, look in China, they're worshipped. And, and then I was like, okay, so let me see something. Do these people like bless what they have? Do they say anything over it? Because I know indigenous people do. Yeah, I'm just, I, I found out that they speak over them before they sell them and they send them off. Uh, easy to find because of the Bible and please do your own research and I pray that it convicts your heart. Trying to do the best that you can is not overlooking something because you don't want to get rid of it. Part of waking up and realizing what the Bible says is learning to walk in it. It's, it's not about me. It's about me worshiping him and honoring him and reverencing him. And if he told me to get rid of it, then I need to get rid of it. There was a reason why he said not to. Literally, these things from foreign countries that worship them, that are the ones selling them <laughs> as their idols and their, their imagery of their gods. And that's why they make these things and they sell them. Please do your research. You'll, you'll see what I'm saying. I've put a short video together just to kind of give you an idea so that you can get a little bit more um, knowledge with what I'm speaking. <laughs> but please do your own research. And I pray that this convicts your heart because if, if you love God and you want to serve him, that is like the second commandment. It's the second commandment. And we, we need to honor it. Here's just a few examples of what I found. 